लॉर्ड ऑफ एंड्रॉइड फोर्टीन बेस रूम्स कस्टम रूम्स आर कमिंग बट वो यू है विद एंड्रॉइड थर्टीन बेस कस्टम रूम एंड विच वन यू टॉक अबाउट इन दिस वन इट दिस इज प्रोजेक्ट एलेक्स थ्री पॉइंट वन थ्री इट इज नाउ रिलीज विद सम न्यू चेंजेस एंड न्यू फीचर्स न्यू यू आई चेंजेस ऑल ओवर मेकिंग दिस वीडियो इट्स नॉट अवेलेबल बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉयड फोर्टीन येट बट एज फार एज आई नो इट माइट बी अवेलेबल बेस्ड ऑन एंड्रॉयड फोर्टीन इन अपकमिंग डेज बट इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट ट्राई आउट एंड्रॉयड फोर्टीन बिकॉज इफ यू वॉच माई प्रीवियस एंड्रॉयड फोर्टीन Fourteen base custom home videos. Some custom homes are not that much stable. Some issues were there. So if you don't want to try out those, you can simply check out Android thirteen. And here we have Project Alexia. The first change, if you are able to notice, is the settings UI. This is literally new. You are having this new kind of user card, and then we have Essence, where we have all the customizations. This custom home always has the card style UI in settings, or even in the default launcher, as you can see. The default launcher is the Alexia launcher. So if you need some customizations on your device in the default launcher, and and you don't want to customize that, you don't want to change that, Alexia launcher is here. This is based on launcher three, as far as I know, and it is having all the same kind of options where we have the icon back support, the options related to double tap to sleep, add app icons to the home screen. We also have the wallpaper zooming options available, and including this one at a glance, which you can enable or disable, and some search bar options are available. for you app drawer recents etc same kind of options almost available in every custom home if it is having the launcher 3 for example even in the evolution xos which was based on android 13 we are not going to talk about android 14 based custom homes yet if you take a look at the wallpapers and style ui it is not having android 14 style wallpaper and style ui it's same android 13 style where you have the option to customize the fonts you have the option to change the fonts very easily you also have the option to change the icon pack etc which you can do from essence settings also in this case it's not available i think so including these things if i move on to the battery ui this also looks good by default in some of the custom homes the battery ui is kind of okay okay and i don't think so a lot of users think about these kind of things but in the, in, in some cases if you want to simply customize your device if you need a customized room with these kind of ui changes then this might be a good choice for you in security options you have the option for enhanced pin privacy option which is introduced with android 14 and you have this option available in every custom room even in the stock android running android 14 If I move on to this customization section, as this custom home brings you a lot of customizations, some of the customizations are paid, by the way, and those are of course not included in this video. But if you want to know more about that, you can join their Telegram group or Telegram channel. Here we have all the customizations, theming, lock screen, status bar, etc. If I move on to the theming options, you will notice we have the option to customize the Wi-Fi icons, and there are many options available for you. Some of them are looking so. Good. good plumpy router linear landscape japanese and you also have these kind of options i'm just trying this glummy looks interesting even the signal icons you have many options to customize that fan reel nothing icons are also available by the way we have these options available i tried and all these things are applying just at one thing one click If I move on to brightness slider customizations, you have the option to do that. You have the option to customize the brightness slider. There are many options available for you, even in the data icon styles. We have the option for these options. You can customize this, by the way. Fonts. There are many options available for you. Theming options are available for you. Almost everything what you need in a custom room is present here. The status bar clock also have the background chip option available, which is working fine. We have the option for retigger notifications. We have the option for battery styles, where you also have the iOS 16 style battery indicator, which is one of my favorite, and I always use that. It's present here. Quick settings, same kind of customizations. You have the option to change the quick setting tiles style. If you want to know more how these things are looking like this is how like this one if i move on to the two tone ascent or if you see surround some things are there this one is looking so good all these options are available here for you to customize some miscellaneous options also have the advanced restart and the google services option is present if you want to disable those google play services from your device and etc and of course gaming etc options are available for you if you want to try out this custom home on it wise link is already available in the description these were things i just wanted to let you know thanks for watching and goodbye